Yeah. Gone already. Dude, I got it again. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, I just got the secret world again. Corner, man. As soon as you told me go back corner, and I actually understood what you're talking about. Like, I thought you meant, like... <laughs> I thought you were talking about, like, a PSJ into the corner. Oh, my God, I'm dumb. It doesn't work. Oh, DCR. I know. I said this so many times, but honestly... If you hadn't... If you, like, never told me... Like, didn't t teach me these things about these games, how bad I would be, honestly. Like, I'm a scrub. I mean, look at you, DF. You're the best at Echo's Wii. You're the best at Echo at Prime Wii. You're the best at Pri Echo's Wii. You're the best at Corruption. Like, come on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so good at the Wii games. I don't know. I guess that's your that's your that's your uh, game. Maybe you prefer, maybe you pre secretly prefer the Wii games. Who knows? You still have to do Trilogy though. Uh, Prime Three. Just get it on Wii U. Prime 3 sounds like bad. Oh, well, yeah, you could just do that on Wii U. On Wii U it's better. Because fast loads, even though you have no tricks, it's faster loads. That room in Brio shouldn't take too long. No, it takes like... It takes three seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's still better than it is on the original release of Corruption, though. 21 seconds. Yeah. Way faster. So it's... So basically, we were talking about this already. So if... if Essentially, if Zoid was wor worked on this game and actually, you know, was here, prime the loads that are on the on the the eShop version could have been on, like standalone, or what? Mm -hmm. If sorry, if if Zoid was still wor worked on Prime Three and was in the company, would the loads of that of that version be equivalent to the loads of the of the VC version? It would not be equivalent to the Wii U. No. Oh, what it would be? It would be better. It wouldn't be perfect, though. Oh, wait, would you be better than the Wii U? No. Wii U would still be better, I think. I, always, I wonder why is it that the Prime 1 and 2 load faster on. on the uh, trilogy than on GameCube? Probably because they have the GameCube optimizations to go with, and also Trilogy requires a more powerful console. Or possibly just more optimizations than they have in the GameCube, I don't know. Because, like, loads on, like, on, like, on the Trilogy, like, kind of throws you off a little bit if you use the GameCube loads. But if, especially if you're used to, like, the first release of Prime, and you play Player's Choice, it's like, wow, these loads are so slow. Player's Choice. The loads are slower on Player's Choice. This is the fast My loader. My copy of Prime was a Player's Choice. <clears throat> what? My copy of Prime was a Player's Choice. I got Echoes first, so Prime had already become Player's Choice. My copy of Prime was a Player's Choice originally. This is. I hate doing this, honestly. I don't know if it's any faster than rolling off the. Uh, I'm actually not sure oh which God. player's choice it was. According to cutting room floor, there's two separate versions of player's choice. One that only fixes that bomb jump in the room before Flagra, and then another that fixes pretty much everything. Mm, there's only one player's choice that I'm aware of. Okay, let me pull it up. Is um, is Skype, go get dead. Um, player's choice is just player's choice. I mean, there's two versions. There are three versions of Prime. Remember that. Thanks, Google Chrome. I type in tcraft.net slash Metroid Prime in my search bar URL bar thing on Chrome, and it automatically takes me to the article for Echoes. Good. <laughs> I mean, technically, there are four versions, but there's all of like GameCube Prime in North America, but there's really three. There's 0 0. 0. Oh my god, what happened? What the heck? Ah, uh, there's 0 01, and there's 0 02, and 0 02 has 0 02, and then 0 02. Player's choice. Oh, so, I mean, it's the same version. 
Like 0 S02 and player's choice are the same. Just player's choice is labeled in a different box. God, I finished the soda already. I, I plowed through this container, this this thing of uh, Dr. Pepper cans. Like, I bought it Saturday, a 12 pack. And. That, that day I had one. And then I had four during the marathon. I was like, come on. <laughs> I was planning on only having. Right. Like, I just got a 12 pack of Mountain Dew, so. I can, I, I can get another one. But, uh, I don't feel like it right now. Yeah, there's two player's choice um, versions according to Cutting Room Floor. The first one only fixes the Arboretum gate skip, and the second one fixes pretty much everything. Hmm. And it, the second one was bundled with the Silver GameCube, apparently. Metroid Prime Silver GameCube bundle. I meant dirt. See, yeah, if I just transitioned a Nova Beam door normally. How? Just, just watch. This is what I was talking this about. One before mining entry? Yes. Yeah, that one works for some reason. I don't know, man. It's basically normal. I just jump on the side of it and it works. I don't know. Definitely better than doing the morph strat. This needs to be tested more, I think. Yeah. I wonder if it, like it doesn't seem like every door works. Like the the one where you, in the room with the secret world, you can't do it again. I'm pretty sure, or you can't do it in the room after that. Okay. Oh, mercy. That's so broken. Once you have Nova Beam, then you go backwards. That's funny, honestly. You go backwards and you have the like the things are like pointing at the the lasers are pointing at the center for no reason. If you do early Nova, you have to do Nova Beam wall crawl because you can't get out because you don't have X-ray. So if I go down the fight, what happens? Does it crash or just? You just soft fog. I like I'm behind a wall. Samus just walked through a wall. That's pretty chill. Yeah, Samus just walked through a wall. Good game. What the? Uh, yeah, have you seen this before? Since I have Nova Beam and I entered the fight, like, it's completely glitched out. The door that I only need Nova Beam for. Right, I'm taking the elevator, I'm leaving the fight. Okay. But the, the phase light barriers are gone. Oh wait, no. Wait, no. Why is it back? Why is the barrier gone? I didn't activate it. What the heck? This is really messed up. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen this. This is really weird. I've never seen this. The heck, the thing that opened the barrier that goes... I mean, the, the thing that you spin, you know, that one right there, right by the elevator? The things are not even there, and the door, the thing's already open. There's not, there's, I didn't even do any of that. What? Oh, it's so weird. I'm not supposed to be up here, literally. No. I haven't seen this. What the heck? Why are there pirates here? Where are the beams? 
What is going on? I've never been in this room with like this before. There's no beams and there's pirates. What? Sounds weird. Ah, I'm not used to this. This is not normal. Are this supposed to be like this normally? Like, I don't get it. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, DF. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I haven't seen this before. I've never been in this room with no light, with no like, like beams coming down from the ceiling. What the heck? They have Nova Beam. Oh, now the fight's restarted. I can go back and reactivate the fight. Oh my god. I think this is permanently gone. I didn't power it. Okay. Oh, this game is cool. <laughs> this thing is stuck. Just need an X ray for it. This thing is not going. Hmm. I'm confused. Can't get here without X ray, so everything's. I don't know. Interesting game, I think. Sometimes. You know what? For fun, I want, I'm just gonna activate the, finish the fight and see what happens. Like, honestly, what happens? I wonder. Whoa. Alright, this is broken. Are there electrical... I don't remember the electrical things being there. I'm just gonna keep going with this fight and finish it out. Let's see what happens. This is pretty funny. Wow, he has no missiles. Oh wait, because he didn't do Brio. Forgot. No Brio. And no Alicia cleanup. Sorry, this is really weird. Being this. After this one, after this fight's over, I'm gonna reset and try to practice again. I'm not done practicing yet. I wanna see what, I just wanna see what happens. Kind of clearly, the game doesn't know what to do if you have no beam before the no beam fight. You're not supposed to have that, obviously, happen. Unless they intended the no beam walk on. Here again. Huh? Well, that's what happens. I have there's no other name here. I have no other name. I just got Nova Beam again. Nice. What? So you can dupe Nova Beam, you can dupe a ship missile infinitely, and you can apparently dupe hyper missiles. Yep. For this thing. Cool. <laughs> Dual Nova Beam. 
Oh, I, I didn't check my percentage. Wait, did it actually dupe? I probably did, I'm assuming. I didn't check after I got Nova, if I, if I had it, what my percentage was. I should have been 39. Yeah, because I had 38. Yeah, it duped. It, it did dupe. If I was 38, and I got that 39, and then I got it again. Dang. But now, if I reload the room, the fight is done. Well, that's good to know. Should people let people know about that, probably. Wait, the ship missile can be duped infinitely? Then? Yeah. So... get 255% for corruption. But if you weren't gonna dupe infinitely, that means you can get 102%? You can get 103%. Oh, because ship missile, okay. So you can get 103%. Nova, ship missile, hyper missile. Good game. <laughs> but hyper missile is hard to get. And you, and you only, have to be in the spot. And you only have one fight yeah. And you only have one time to. It's like, yeah. I mean, no thing you have one time as well, but it's you just could do the wall crawl and then do the fight. It's not hard to do at all. Let me tweak that out because it's pretty funny, I think. <laughs> 